Uh, this time we are going to expand the addressable example uh, that we studied before where we had two entities uh, contact and phone info. Uh, this time we are going to pay attention to relationship strength and participation. And also uh, you might recall uh, in the phone info entity we had a type uh, attribute which could be home, cell or uh, let's say work phone number to specify the type of that phone number and in that case you know we would end up uh, uh, repeating uh, values for uh, in that attribute all the time so what we are going to do we are going to try to resolve that issue by creating another entity uh, then uh, we will use this um, type ID that will serve as a, a foreign key in phone info entity uh, let's start going to our database menu first and select it. So in this case what we are gonna be we have some business rules to talk about which are a person might have uh, multiple phone numbers many phone numbers uh, and a person might have multiple work phone numbers as well as home phone numbers as well. Uh, a phone number uh, may be used by uh, somebody else because it, the same number may belong to person and that person's spouse so then you might have uh, both names in your address book um, a person num a person may have uh, a phone number uh, but to be able to enter that person's name into your address book you don't have to specify a phone number at first so it can be specified later okay let's start creating our entities first First one is the contact entity, and let's use bold font for primary keys. And our primary key is going to be contact ID, and our attributes are other attributes contact first name and contact last name. Our second attribute is let's create a type attribute. Type uh, it refers to uh, phone number type, like it might be work, home, or cell phone number. And also, uh, this table is more flexible because if ad additional uh, types are needed, you can easily add them and they'll be assigned the ID, and that ID will be used as a foreign key in another entity. So let's say type ID which is the primary key and attributes are the the type basically this is the description of the attribute uh, which may be work phone uh, work home or cell in this case then type ID may like it depends how you're going to specify type ID when you implement database but it can be one two three and the lastly we need to create phone info attribute where we going to have phone ID uh, as our primary key because we don't want to use phone number as a primary because a phone number can be used by multiple individuals so you don't want to do that so when you create a phone ID as your primary key basically you'll be addressing uh, potential issues with uh, using other attributes as a primary key this is primary key and other attributes are we need a foreign key contact ID so that we can make connections between person name, person and uh, phone info entity, phone info information. So this is the foreign key. Other foreign key is the type ID because we like to know what type of phone number is this. And lastly, we need the actual phone number. If you want, you can split this phone number attribute into additional attributes like area code and the actual phone number, but again, it depends on the business rule and the requirements that you would specify. But let's go with just simple phone number this time. And now we need to specify the relationships. We know that a person might have many phone numbers. Therefore, relationship between contact and phone info is one to many. However, we need to decide that, uh, you know, once you enter someone's uh, information, you may not have the phone number readily available. And still you can 
enter that information to database, it was also specified in the business rules. Therefore, phone info part of that one-to-many relationship is optional. So we solve the participation part. Other thing is the relationship strength. What we to, uh, to identify whether the relationship is strong or weak, we look at the uh, many side of the attribute and see whether there is a uh, the primary key. It must be a composite primary key, and uh, whether the foreign key, in this case contact ID between contact and phone info, is part of the primary key or not. And as in this case, it is not part of the primary key. Therefore, the relationship uh, strength of the relationship is weak. Same thing goes for type. So you might have a cell phone type, but uh, you may not have anyone with a cell phone number or home phone number, depending on what type it is, uh, not specified at all. So you can have a phone number for, let's say, all of them, all the phone numbers in your phone, uh, phone info entity are home phone numbers. Therefore, you wouldn't have any phone number associated with cell phone or cell type or work type. Therefore, the main side of this relationship between type and phone info is also optional. And since type ID is not part of the primary key, again, the strength of the relationship is weak. And since, you know, multiple uh, types could be associated with, uh, a type might be associated with multiple phone numbers, the relationship is one to many, so it's what it was uh, trivial. Now let's start creating those relationships. And left bottom corner of uh, this uh, DA application, you can specify that uh, information in the relationship. The le very left side, you specify the one side of the information. In this case, which is one, and we select the one exactly part. And middle part, specify the you know the, the type of the line, which is going to be a dashed line since it is weak. And the main side is going to be optional because you may not have a phone number or you might have it and it, all the type information may, may not be used so and since both relationships are one to many and the many sites are optional and weak so we are just going to use this way and what you need to do you need to change if there are additional relationships with other entities and you specify some of them strong some of them uh, want to many but many side is required then you may need to simply make these changes and get the connector so this is one to many make sure you when you're connecting uh, connect from the primary key to foreign key so it, it will be easier to follow so contact id to contact id in phone info once they are connected and when they are connecting you see the entities highlighted so you can easily move around so you, the connections are not going to be <coughs> excuse me broken and a contact may own uh, multiple phone numbers this way. And same thing for the type ID. In the previous example, I guess I used this reference uh, option. You could use it, but it doesn't. Uh, it's not good at you know specifying this. Uh, uh, one side just strikes, it just put one there, so it's not that uh, clear. But this is much better. And now we need to name these relationships and use this text option here and click right above the line and I say owns and type the, let's say it belongs. Now our ERD is ready.